So this is so this is something I've been trying to explain for some time, but I couldn't really explain what I'm trying to say, but I understood it more or less. So my sister used to, you know, they said, you know, my cousins like, uh, you know, Camilo uh, Jr., maybe uh, Manny and Aaron, because they would talk about Deidre, my sister, bothering my grandma. So what it is, is uh, when, a, when an old person is more um, baby-like, they're not as serious. Because seriousness demands respect. The more serious you can be in any situation, the more respect you can demand. So if someone is more baby-like or zoning out all the time, that's what I'm referring to as baby-like. This is the words that I'm describing it as. It is, you can have a lot more affection for someone that is like that than more affection for someone that demands respect. So you either get one or the other. You get affection, or if you're serious, you get respect, or you can have both if someone knows you as changing roles. So my sister, Dina, she would bother my grandma because we had a lot of affection for her because we love her We love her a lot, my grandma on my mom's side. Not that we didn't love her other grandma, but we're talking about my grandma Flora Perez who passed away, I think, uh, two years ago. Um, so basically, um, the affection is like a loving sort of thing, like when you love a baby, you don't, you respect the baby, but you have more affection for the baby, because you know, you pick up the baby and you play with the baby. So you don't, maybe you don't pick someone up that you have respect for and play with it because they're serious. That's the, that's the thing. So when you, uh, you have affection for someone, but when they're older, you don't want to get out of hand with that affection because it can easily seem and easily uh, lead to a disrespect or what seems to be disrespect. Let's say you're calling the person you know, making prank phone calls to them, telling them that they won the lottery or whatnot. So that can seem very much like disrespect. Although in your heart, you're just playing. The person, uh, the grandmother, could be you know, very mad about you know, hi, why is why is they doing this? You know, and kind of you're kind of snapping out of that uh, other reality or world and becoming more, more serious, which leads to laughter. If you understand what I'm talking about. But it's like someone that's looking out from the outside in is like, oh, look at how disrespectful, disrespectful, or someone that's looking from the outside in on affection, they, they could be laughing. So it all depends on your, the, different, the many different glasses of perception that you have and on how the person is doing with their illness, if they have an illness, and different things of that nature. But yeah, so that's the difference between respect and affection you guys hope you learned something today like subscribe and share become a patreon member today you guys and remember nothing is impossible and nothing is unbelievable it may be unbelievable to you but it will become undeniable when it's in your face i want to say one last thing about respect that i believe i forgot to mention is that all life deserves respect animals humans yeah, even bugs. And some are harder than others. You know, you got roaches and stuff, but, you know, that's something else. But we need to learn to love each other, love uh, life, and, um, you know, have, try and have affection for one another and affection for life. And some things it's no easier, you know. It's easier for me to have affection for a dog than, let's say, maybe some animal that was misbehaving, like maybe a ferret. You know, like, ferrets, I love ferrets but you know how hyper they are they tear your couch up so you know like you have different variables and things of that nature but you need to try and basically respect and love all life anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe and share peace out remember nothing is impossible nothing's unbelievable I already said that neither half peace out